Imagine that you are looking for a place to live, maybe raise your children, or just to live with your family. And you have this option. This beautiful, beautiful place with beaches and mountains and everything you need to have a good life. But there is one problem. This place also has chance of suffering from droughts and floods and heat and cold waves and extreme events that will maybe sometimes unpredictable. Would you live here? Probably not, right yet. But the last time I checked, it was our only option and we should not take chances. The Earth's climate is a mechanism that works like a clock and we are disturbing such equilibrium in a rate that the Earth is unable to accommodate. We are putting far too much CO2 in the atmosphere, burning fossil fuels to get energy. And the bad thing about this excess of CO2 is its ability to trap heat and warm the planet. For more than 800,000 years, the concentration of CO2 has never been so high and it has never increased so sharply as today. Even though, can you remember the last time you spent a day without using energy? It's hard, right? Yeah, because energy is essential and not only essential to you, but also essential to do science and the scientists copy. Renewables provide us with clean electricity part of the time, but we also need a source of it 24 seven. And even more, we need high temperature heat for industrial uses like to produce cement or steel. Today, the majority of our heat comes from the burning of fossil fuels. The solution to produce clean electricity and heat 92% of the time is here as safe as any renewable source, emitting four times less CO2 than solar, a tiny little pellet like this has the same energy as one ton of coal, and you won't need more than a soda can of it per year, nuclear energy. Inside of this pellet, we have what we call fissile material, which is composed by atoms that when hit by a neutron, undergo fission, releasing enormous amounts of heat. This heat can be used to generate vapor and spin a turbine that will generate electricity for industrial use or to produce hydrogen that you can burn. And the good thing about burning hydrogen is that you can replace fossil fuels generating only water as waste. Hydrogen is not easy to get. You have to split a molecule of water into oxygen and hydrogen. This chemical reaction demands lots of heat that nuclear is very good at providing. We disturbed our planet. And we have the chance to overcome this with renewables and nuclear. But we have to demand from our leaders that they act as fast as possible towards the clean energy transition that must include nuclear. Thanks.